Hello and welcome to the Science Ferry. In this video I want to test a thermoelectric cooler. This thing consists of a large heatsink, one Peltier element, then on top of this another Peltier element and a cooling block and then a small heatsink that is down here in this box and I will just try to see what temperatures I can get with this setup. Unfortunately the temperature sensors I ordered didn't arrive yet so I will measure the temperature with this infrared thermometer however this is less accurate because this surface actually reflects infrared radiation so I will measure from this tape here and that should get some accurate readings. All right, I just have it powered up and now it will run a bit. I have here a voltage regulator. I will explain this later on paper how this works with the two Pelche elements and I will just test now how low the temperature can get down in here on this um, heatsink. Quick overview why you can put the Peltier modules on top of each other and just power them from the same power source or with the same voltage. So you have the two Peltier modules on top of each other. Down here is a heatsink and you will move the heat from here from the cold side to the heatsink to the hot side and when you do this you're putting in power so electrical power and this power gets converted into heat as well they're not 100% efficient their efficiency is not really great I don't know uh, how much this is but you will have to move not only the heat that is really moved from the inside to the outside you have to move the heat you're putting in as well and you will have this heat plus this heat and the Peltier module down here has to move the heat as well and so it will have to move this heat, this heat and the heat you have to put in to power it and this is why you have to lower the uh, voltage of the top one so it will move less heat and the Pache module down here can handle this heat. So if I measure in here I can already see that the temperature is lower approximately 15 degrees and outside we have 21 degrees so it's already cooling down just inside the box. Alright, right now the box down here is how much is it? 10 degrees. Outside it's 22 degrees and or 20 22 and the box itself is uh, 9 degrees. And if I lift this off, let me just do this. Then the temperature on the cooling block itself is minus 10 degrees. So this looks pretty damn good. However, right now the heatsink or the cooling block is sitting just inside the box without any ventilation. So it can cool down um, better. But minus 10 degrees looks pretty good and I will plan to put this inside of a box, an isolated box with this foam stuff and see if I can build a cooling box that can get lower than zero degrees. 
All right, I've put a small fan inside like the ones on top and the temperature right now is minus two. Oh wow, uh, the cooling block or the heatsink itself is minus 16 degrees now, which is pretty incredible. And I will see how much this box is cooling down. Maybe I will add some foam to isolate it. All right, I added some foam insulation and I'm not getting any lower than zero degrees. So I'll probably stop this right now and check the temperature of the heatsink inside. So it seems it's minus 7 degrees, the heatsink itself. This looks pretty good and I will probably build a mini refrigerator out of this. However, this is not really efficient, so I will probably just do this for fun and see how it works. Alright, that was the test of my Cascade Peltier cooler and I will probably publish a video when this thing is done and I've made a box for it and then I will test this as well. There will probably also more videos about Peltier modules as well maybe. Uh, I will see. And yeah, I hope you liked this video. If yes, then give a like or subscribe for more science projects. And until next time. Bye.